Hey Pisces, what's poppin'? I'm about to do your three card reading for tonight, the nightcap, you know what I mean? So tomorrow, start tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, busy day, busy day, busy day. Do not forget people to watch, to come and join my Rock the Block party. All zodiac signs are welcome. Ooh, why is it every time I get on here, I get to yawn? Do not bring sand to the beach, okay? The beach already has sand, and it has enough salt. Every Saturday on Zoom, 6 p.m. East Coast time, 5 p.m. Central time, and 3 p.m. West Coast time. If none of these, if you don't understand what time is at where you at, just Google up East Coast, and then your time, and then that's the way you're going to find out where we at. Also, Pisces, cross watchers, thank you all. Don't forget to like, and share, and subscribe. And while I'm saying all of this, get to hitting that like, my guess. What's up? Happy birthday, March the 10th. Yes, happy birthday to all the Pisces, March the 10th. I hope you are celebrating your birthday. You having a good time. Yes, it's important to celebrate your birthday, baby, right? All right. Now, Pisces, all right, you already know I'm the queen of, bear, of breaking spells. I have all candles. I even have a yellow candle, but, I, you know, whatever kind you want, I will tell you the meanings of all the colors, all right? I do have my bro, my uh, bell, uh, ooh, spell breaking candle, my love yourself candle, my money candle. I do not work dark. I work all light. I got my oils, I got my herbs, my salt bath, my walnut bath is number one. It works, definitely works inside and out. All right, don't let nobody catch you out there. Make sure you start wearing your bracelets, okay, bracelets. And this one here is the one that I made for Miss Renee and for um, um, Dynasty, and I fell in love with it, so I made myself one. It, it really... Um, uh, it's like a, a compromise the black with the silver. And silver is my favorite colors. If you don't know, you know now. I love silver, okay? And um, let me put my orders on before I start letting you know what time it is. I'm going to start introducing this to my store. And that means that, um, you know, you can go in there and put that when you go out. When you go to bed, when you get out the shower, when you go to bed for the night, yeah, make sure you get with that. Okay, this is, um, I'm only showing you this because these are the two I have on my um, altar right now. The Tiger Stone. I got the um, well-known stone right here. I got all kinds of stones. All right, if you go on my web, you'll be able to see it all. Um, I do not burn the sage on my, um, while I'm doing readings because it messes with my um sinus okay all right pisces let's get popping three card reading at the bottom of the reading you got this keeps coming out the two of cups all right and guess what the man is reaching out to you that's a good damn thing that the two of cup here the man is reaching out to you and i like this i really do it seems like it's a house and it's a distance. The house is at a distance. But the man is reaching off to you, so they getting the strength to come to you. You know, like I said, a lot of y'all, I don't know where y'all at, but I'm single and mingling, and I can pretty much do whatever because I'm not with nobody. I like the life I'm living. Um, Damn, I don't remember living this life since I was living with my mom. But it feels mighty good to me. I don't run no streets and I don't got time for no games. So I'm pretty much doing what I do in my career. Excuse me. I do my career. I don't do no streets and I don't do nobody in no streets. I don't meet people in no bars, no clubs because I don't do none of that shit. I don't get down because I don't have to look for nothing. Whatever it's meant to be for me is going to be. I'm not looking for anything anymore ever again. Eh, well, I mean ever, ever again. But this two of cup, what I like about it again, that he is reaching out to you. So somebody is reaching out to somebody here. 
and they get the strength to do it. Of course, we see the line, we see the birds, so it's an air sign maybe, okay? Or it might be an air sign reaching out to you. It may be a Leo reaching out to you, um, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer reaching out to you, but them signs are there. This person might be uh, working in a um, some type of a hospital or um, um, what you call them, um, residential homes, or working in some type of uh, physical therapist, doctor's office, something in there, helping people, helping people, all right? Um, but it, I could tell they had a distance from you because the, ho the house is far. And I also feel like um, I hope this person is not performing for you because I also feel like it's like a stage play. Or somebody is, um, I don't know, like playing a role. Or maybe they playing a role to come back to you. Or they, um, you know, planning on how they're going to do this. But I feel like this is all like orchestra. Um, or like, I don't know, like something they rehearsing to do. And I don't know why I feel that way, but I do. Okay. All right, tell me more about this um, Two of Cups. Tell me more about this Two of Cups. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person. They are probably younger than you, but they're taking a leap of faith. But they are like bringing a, um, maybe they don't have a lot to offer you. Oh, God. Why is every time I go to do a reading, I get start to yawning? Um, they may have a little dog, a little chihuahua, something small, white dog. Um, but they damn sure got a rose or something in their hand. They don't have too much to offer. The sun is shining, and they're going to take a leap of faith, but they don't know how this is going to land, but they're willing to come to you and take a leap of faith. Now, they don't know how or what is going to happen once they get there, but they're willing to do it. Okay? They want to do it. All right? Um, they, they believers. They are believers. They believe that whatever they're going to do, they're going to do it. Okay? So they are believers. They believe that they can do this, and that's what they want to do. Okay? They starting off. They don't know how it's going to start, but they're willing to start somewhere. Okay? A new beginning. Uh, uh, potentials, um, adventure, um, awakening, innocence, okay, creating this energy, um, the blind truth, worrying, um, high hopes, free spirit, detach, believe, opportunity. This is a wild card. Anything can happen. You understand? Anything. What is the best thing that could happen if they go um, if they go your way? What's the best thing that can happen? They got to wait and see, right? Where are they headed to? You don't know. Somebody here doesn't know, but they willing to they willing to come your way. All right. They don't know what's going to happen. They got high hopes. They believe in things can good can come out of this, but somebody here, I feel like this person, for some reason, they always cared about you, but they want to come and take a leap of faith. This person always cared about you, and I, 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 I mean, ain't no this person about it. I just feel like this person might have um, had, like, like, wasn't ready to grow up, like, they very immature. They might be grown us, but they're immature. Um, but they want to take a, a leap of faith. They want to take a leap of faith towards you, all right? But they're trying to think how they're going to do this. Look at this shit. The Knight of Wands. Somebody's taking a leap of faith, and they coming. It ain't no this plus about it. They are coming towards you. They are ready to take off. They want to come your way, all right? They want to create something with you. It's, 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 you know what I mean? They want to move forward with you, okay? They, um, they want to know what's going on. 
Oh, what's going on? All right, they want to take action towards you. They want to know what's going on, Pisces. Oh, what's going on? This person may be thinking you seeing somebody. Pisces, are y'all seeing somebody, or are you single like me? Are you single like me, or you got somebody? I don't know. Maybe some of y'all walking down the altar. I don't know, shit. Um, but um, action, expression, winning the situation. A strong belief. Uh, this person believes it, honey. Uh, unshakable desire. They can't shake you off of them. Okay? Passion fulfillment. You fulfill their passion, honey. Moving forward. They want to move forward with you. Okay? Positive attitude. They coming with a good attitude. Thank you, Jesus. Right? Um, this person knows that this is a fast-moving energy. And they take, they getting the courage to come to you, okay? They, they, they are asking themselves, Lord Jesus, this is the end and out thing they're going through. How am I gonna do this? I'm, you know, but they wanted to take a chance with you, Pisces. One thing they are, they, they thinking how they gonna do this, but they damn sure willing to take a chance. They damn sure are, all right? This person want to come to you and maybe fix things and want to talk. But Pisces, give a person a chance to talk and don't say nothing. Just listen to what they got to say. You won't get a lot of answers if you don't say nothing and just sit there and listen. All right? They want to bring balance to this relationship. They thought about it. You know what I mean? In the past, it wasn't balanced. But now, it's they want to be balanced. They want to um, come with the truth. All right? But Pisces, it look like you, you know, like you... You know what I mean? You like, shit. I don't know if they're going to come with the truth. Miss Lisa, I don't know about that. Pride and ego was, was, was making them sit back and not come to you because they got too much pride. And they got to um impress someone. Or if they come to you, it makes them look like, you know, like um it's fucking with their ego. What people going to think of me? But I don't even know what, how people going to think some of them when I don't know about them, but I know I'm a personal, I'm very private, and I don't get down with people. So, I, I, don't, I guess, what would they think if they somebody see us together or something? Huh? Because, see, what I feel inside is they talk too damn much, and that's the problem. You tell people your business. It can be, it don't even have to be the street. It could be family. It could be family, but shit, this person got a lot of pride and shit, but I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. If they got pride, it must be about their family and their closest friends. Or maybe, I'll, I'm not going to add on to the story because that's not part of the reading. But what makes them have pride and ego? You know what I mean? Like, if somebody cares, somebody cares. Either you care or you don't. Okay, either you're going to come or you're going to miss out. I mean, ain't no, it's, it, 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 you know what I mean? You want to balance the schedule, the scales. But then again, you... Got too much pride and shit. You know what I mean? I don't know, Pisces. Maybe you was the one that always ran to them and they never had to run to you. You was the one that always was to chase them. They never had to chase you. And the word chasing is, shouldn't even be in a relationship. Because if somebody loves you, they don't call chasing. That's called missing you and wanting to see, see you and coming back to you. That's what that's called to me. But this person's learned a lot of lessons. This person learned a lot of lessons. Even though they, they got that pride in their ego, they learned a lot of lessons from this, this time. Because Pisces, they ain't used to you being like this. This ain't like you. This is different you. You know, this ain't the same Pisces they know. All right? So let me pull out three more cards, right? Tell me what this balancing thing is. Outcome. Resist. See, this person resisting. Um, ending will get no results, right? This person is resistant, but ending, you will get no results. So by them, the outcome is if they don't make a move, then they ain't going to get shit. You know, if they don't make a move, then they, they ain't just going to pass them by. And maybe that's, that's what they want. I don't fucking know. You know, again, it comes out again. All right, the same, so it's two people here, because y'all facing each other. 
two people doing the same shit. Both of y'all got y'all pride. And, you know, I'm not going over there. Oh, I ain't going over there. Okay, uh -uh, I ain't going over there. Okay, your pride, your jealousy is getting the best of you. The wall, let the let your guards down. It's saying let both of y'all need to let your guards down. I mean, damn. I don't know, but it's got two people feeling the same way. All right, tell me more, tell me more. Tell me more about this lesson. Tell me more about this lesson. Tell me more about this lesson in Pisces. And this person, tell me more about the lessons for Pisces and this person. What is about the lesson? What is this book? Release, lose, lose your hold, lose your hold, relax, unwind, release the fear and anxiety and, and doubts. Y'all need to do this. That's what it says. Release it. Release it because it's a union here that's meant to be. Damn, Pisces. All right, so two people are holding on their pride and their ego, and that's what's keeping y'all apart. That y'all doing this to each other. Ain't that a bitch? And in the middle of all of this, it's saying this. Release it. Right? Release it because it's a union here. Okay? So it's three, it's two people looking at each other. Y'all need to release it so that y'all can come together. I don't know what to say about that. All right, release it. Lose, lose yourself up. Release. All right, this is eternal love. Um, all right, but losing up, lose, let go of that hold that you got. Relax and wine. Release the fear, the anxiety, and that doubt. Release it, cause two people are sitting here doing the same shit. Pride and ego standing right in the way of y'all coming together. And both of y'all doing the same old shit. I don't even know what to say about that. I ain't, you know what? I've never um really was the type of person that <coughs> if I <clears throat> like somebody, I don't give a fuck what nobody think. I'm going to go over there and knock on the door. They already know that. They already know I'm going to knock on the door, come over there, because to me, that's home to me. <clears throat> I would see a lot of you if I don't say that's home to me. You know what I mean? So, you know how you've been with somebody and nobody is like that person. Like, you can go over there. You can lay down. You can be yourself. You can act stupid. You can laugh. You can get serious. You can, whatever. But it's, certain, it's a certain person that you can do all that with. And you can't do that with nobody. And let me tell you something, I'm not trying to be, you know what I mean, I don't know, but I only had one person in my life that I could be like that with. And um, it's sad, but ain't nothing I could do. You know what I mean? I think I, I, I gave everything I had to give. But pride and uh, and ego, you know, um, <clears throat> I just know I gave my all. And I, I knocked on the door and I went there and... I call and I chase. And if that's what they call chasing, they call me a chase. I don't give a fuck because ain't nothing about me. I ain't proud to beg, honey. And uh, one thing I'm going to tell you about that. That person that told me to my face, I ain't never had to look for you because you always came to me. And so <clears throat> when they said that to me, that meant to me like they ain't give a fuck. The only one that was fighting for this was me. So that's one thing that stayed in my head. I was the one that was fighting for this. Ain't nobody else was fighting for it but me. So when I hear somebody talk to me like that, I, I mean, damn, if I don't take that into consideration, it's a damn problem. Because I don't think that everything should be that damn hard to be with a person. And so that's all I got to say. You know, maybe we both are doing the same thing. Who the fuck know? Only God knows. But I'm just chilling. I know summer's coming. And I ain't never been like this in my life. So I'm excited to get in my truck and put my bike in my my um, chair and my um portable grill and just enjoy life. I don't need nobody to be in my party. I am the party. In any way I go out, set my shit up, and leave when I want to. And... I've 
It's a beautiful thing. I go to the beach all the time by myself. I travel alone. Okay, so I don't know. I just learned a great lesson. And the lesson was that they said I was always there for them. I knocked on the door. I chased them and all this. So I was like, man, I'm getting too old for that shit. You know, if somebody love you, they won't love you. And if they don't love you, they ain't going to love you. So it is what it is. What's up with you, my Pisces? What's up, baby? I love you. Miss Lisa loves you. And you love me. All right, Pisces, we'll talk. I love you all. Have a blessed night. And I hope that you have a peaceful, peaceful, peaceful night. And don't forget to say thank you to God before you lay down. For your day, whether it was a good day or bad day, say thank you. And also, let's pray for the people overseas fighting that war. <coughs> and all the pictures you're seeing. Let's pray for them and pray for ourselves and our country. Red, white, and blue, we stand together. Let's pray for all to be together as one. Okay, I pray for all the Pisces that are sitting in hospitals right now. I pray for those who are home recovering. I hope of a fast recovery. I love you all and happy birthday again. And um, love is not supposed to be this hard. So remember that. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye.